Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete and Gus were busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. They had ten when they were done. Oh no! Hang on! Some of the cupcakes were gone. They were sure there had been ten. Pete said, maybe we need to count them again. They counted the cupcakes lined up straight. Now there were only eight. It looks like someone had taken two. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. So let's look. We'll count the cupcakes. Put your finger on the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Somebody ate two cupcakes. Let's see how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten cupcakes minus two cupcakes equals eight cupcakes. Just then they found a clue. Gus said, look what I have found. Sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was squirrel. She loves sprinkles. Squirrel said, It wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. Uh-oh. More cupcakes are missing. Come and see. This was too weird. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. Now there were only six. Someone must be playing tricks. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Let's count how many cupcakes they had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They had eight cupcakes. And then somebody came and took two. Now let's see how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight cupcakes minus two cupcakes equals six cupcakes. Just then, they found another clue. Pete said, I bet it was Alligator. He loves to eat. Alligator said, It wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Uh-oh. More cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Now there were only four. Someone had taken two more. But who? So, there were six cupcakes. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Somebody came and took two more. How many cupcakes are left? One, two, three, four. Six minus two equals four. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found another clue. I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know Turtle loves his sweets. Turtle said, 
It wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been swimming in the sea. Uh-oh. More cupcakes are missing. Come and see. What on earth was going on? All the cupcakes were now gone. We know that Pete and Gus had four cupcakes. And now we know they have zero cupcakes. So four minus what equals zero? Zero, remember, means there's nothing. So let's see how many it takes for us to get to zero. One, two, three, four. Are we at zero? We are. So four minus four equals zero. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. They found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. Pete and Gus have solved the case. I'm so sorry. It was me. I couldn't stop with just one. I ate and ate till there were none. Everyone agreed Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. He could not come after what he had done. Pete said, but wait, Grumpy Toad made a mistake. This is true. Let's give him a second chance. That's what friends do. Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited, he did a happy dance. The night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. Pete the Cat's Cupcake Party. The end. So now let's go back and do the math problems that were in the story. We are working with subtraction. Remember, subtraction means take away or when a number becomes smaller or less. So Pete and Gus baked 10 cupcakes. Let's count the 10 cupcakes on the page. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we found out that two cupcakes went missing. Then we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then two more went missing. Now let's count how many were left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then two more cupcakes went missing. Let's count how many were left. One, two, three, four. And then remember, all four cupcakes went away and then there were none or zero. The first math problem was 10 minus two equals eight. Then it was eight minus two equals six. Then six minus two equals four. Then four minus four equals zero. These were the four subtraction problems that we heard about in our story. Now it's your turn. Let's make or draw some cupcakes. We will practice some subtraction. So get a piece of paper and a crayon or pencils and draw some cupcakes. You can draw as many as you want. Then take some away. After you did, show me the subtraction problem, just like I did before. If you drew 10 cupcakes and took away four cupcakes, you would write 10 minus four. 
and that, I'll give you the answer, is 6. But you can do whatever numbers you want to work with. Don't forget to take a picture and send it to me on Dojo or upload it to Google Classroom. Great job today.